hello students in this video we are going to see different sources of indian history and also the historiography of indian history here i have taken some questions from ancient india and medieval india this will give you an idea how questions are coming on historiography in the history optional so this is about paper 1 Paper 1 contains ancient India and medieval India. Let us see some questions on historiography, how questions are coming. Here you can see the first question. Discuss the changing approaches to the study of early Indian history. So it is asking about how different approaches emerged to study Indian history. There are different interpretations. For example, during British time period, British colonial people have interpreted Indian history which suits their narrative. So they projected Indians as degrading people. They don't know how to rule themselves. They always dependent on outsiders to rule for themselves or the progress of India. So it suits their narrative. But nationalists, they countered this narrative by showing the evidence otherwise. For example, later time periods, nationalists have highlighted the existence of democratic elements in the ancient time period. So this is nationalist approach. And later one more approach emerged, that is Marxist approach. In this approach, the historians mainly talked about the people, how common people were living, what is the livelihood of common people and how these people were exploited by the rulers and what is the relationship between common people and the rulers. So this kind of interpretation emerged called Marxist approach. So these are various approaches to Indian early history. Second question, reconstruction of early Indian history is hardly possible without the help of inscriptions and coins. So it is talking about how we study about ancient history. Broadly, there are two important sources of ancient history. One is literary sources. Second one is archaeological sources. In our syllabus also, in the first unit, the sources they given, UPSC has given sources. And in the sources, archaeological sources and literary sources. Inscriptions and coins come under archaeological sources. So it is saying that not only literary sources are important, but without mentioning or without studying these, we cannot completely get the picture of ancient India. So reconstruction of early Indian history is hardly possible without the help of inscriptions and coins. Third one, in what ways are the accounts of Greek or Romans and Chinese helpful in reconstructing the social history of India? How far is their information corroborated by other contemporary sources? In literary sources, again we have two types. Here, if we see, these are the broadly the sources of history. Archaeological sources, coins and inscription, one question came. And within literary sources, we have religious sources, secular sources, we can categorize Indian sources and the foreign sources. And this question is talking about Greco-Roman authors and Chinese authors, how they gave some accounts about India's history or their observations. So from the time period of Megasthenes, who visited the court of Chandragupta Maurya, observations of Greek people always helped Indian historians to give some projection or from to give the foreign interpretation of Indian society, Indian culture. So this question is talking about in what ways are the accounts of Greek or Romans and Chinese helpful in reconstructing social history of India? How far is their information corroborated by other contemporary sources? So other contemporary sources means what are the other Indian sources and how far they are correct? Discuss critically the relative importance of different sources for the history of Mauryan period. Again, 
when it comes to a specific dynasty we have to see different sources here question is discuss critically relative importance of different sources for the history different sources means archaeological sources literary sources during mauryan time period what evidence we got at this level and what the evidence in this sphere so we have to explain both the things and we have to explain different dimensions of mauryan empire so these are the questions from ancient history and when it comes to medieval history now you can see in the beginning of medieval history two important sources gave an important insight into indian history one is alberuni is kitab ul hind and second one is rajatarangini of kalhana so rajatarangini of kalhana he kalhana belongs to kashmir region and he explained about various rulers who ruled kashmir region since mythological times also so here historians have to segregate the mythological part from his observations and the historical part however his source is very important to understand the social economic political aspects of the time period that is one important source that's why sometimes questions come in this aspect evaluate rajatarangini as a source of history one question do you consider the rajatarangini of kalhana to be a reliable source of political history of kashmir so two important questions and another important source from the outsider perspective is alberuni's observation evaluate kitabul hind of alberuni as a source of history of india so this is one question now this is there is one kind of criticism about indian observation indian writings like indians do not know how to write history they always write in terms of mythological aspect they mix mythology with the real aspect historians have to find very difficult to observe what is the reality what is the real history and what is mythological angle so based on this however we have to see in the context of rajatarangini kalhana and also other observators that ancient indians also had a taste of history that we have to provide that evidence in this question ancient indians had no taste for historiography their scholars cared more for religious spiritual philosophical studies indian historiography is essentially an islamic heritage comment upon this statement with a special reference to the contemporary writers and their works which help us in the reconstruction of history in early medieval period of indian history if we take there are some historian like kalhana is one example there is one history called vikramanka devacharita written by bilhana so it was also around this time period so indians the writing of history emerged during early medieval time period even in india also along with that observations of alberuni also helped in the reconstruction of indian history next one main sources of information for the history of 13th century 13th century means the establishment of delhi sultanate and we have to see what are the various sources to understand the political economic social cultural dimensions of delhi sultanate time period so this is about the establishment of delhi sultanate time period so around that time period what are the sources of this study evaluate the contents of tabagata i nasri as a source of medieval history it is another important source of delhi sultanate and we have to see what are the important contents about this what is your assessment of ivan batuta's rehla as an important source of indian history so this is the history observed by ivan batuta and he was in india during mohammed bin tughlaq time period he was a moroccan he was a traveler and he observed indian conditions at the his time period and it is another important source of indian history babar nama as a source of 
history when moguls came babar himself was an author his autobiography babar nama is an important source and very critical source to understand the conditions of gangetic valley and also the general conditions of india when babar arrived in india so he has written his book in tujkai babri so here he observed different social economic political conditions of his time period one example one quotation around this time period vijayanagara kingdom was very powerful krishna devaraya was ruling in deccan region babar also mentions about sri krishna devaraya as one of the strong rulers of indian subcontinent so this also gives certain information about indian history political history and even geographical condition climatic conditions of india also evaluate malfazat's texts as sources of medieval history these are the sources these are the text emerged from the discourses of discourse of sufi saints so when sufi saints were giving speeches and in their speeches these speeches were recorded in the texts called malfazat texts they became very important source of indian history to observe the socio economic cultural conditions of that time period so to psc has asked evaluate how far they are important in reconstruction of medieval history examine the sources of history of chatrapati shivaji with a special reference to shivabharat and shabashad baska so this is another source to study about maratha empire it is a biography of chatrapati shivaji now you can see how questions are transforming now this is in 2020 so this is the latest one so these are the classical questions which were coming earlier now the trend is shifting to the regional level so it is like history of different regions and for example they may ask how do we know about history of vijayanagara kingdom this can be a question and later maratha empire what are the sources to study about maratha empire and same is the case with in the eastern part ahom kingdom in assam region again upsc can focus on this area what is the historiography of this area so how do we know about this region how do you know about this region and in the rajputana time period how do we know about rajput conditions kashmir we have one important source that is kalhana and same is the case with cholas chalukyas so different regional kingdoms and upsc is moving towards this area how do we know about we are studying them we are studying as part of ncert and other some standard books but we have to study what are the original sources of the study so this is how different questions are coming different questions are coming with respect to historiography and the sources of history so we at diademy we are conducting daily answer writing program and mentorship program and we will try to test you in all these fears and in all the previous year questions and there is a program to explain all the previous year questions also so those students who are interested can join the program and can contact the administration of diademy thank you